Hey guys, we are going to have some nail foil fun. Um, all those letters and uh, this whole flower is all done with nail foils. So I ordered some online. Uh, it's Mac Art, I believe. I'm not sure if I'm even pronouncing it properly. Um, but this so far is the best nail art foil glue that I have used on rocks. Uh, so far. Uh, it comes with two bottles of the glue and uh, two little cases of nail foils. Uh, some of them are just like holographic and clear and the other ones are very colorful and sparkly. Um, there's a, a lot of different foils to choose from if you go on Amazon. So uh, also if you are a nail tech uh, there will be a link in the description for the pink chair. Um, she's in Canada and I always want to support my fellow Canadians. Um, so if you want to message her on Facebook and let her know that you heard from me and you're an artist and you were wondering if it's possible you can purchase her nail foils or even her flat back crystals, any of her stuff, um, you know what I use on my rocks. So I use, I use just about anything, definitely glitter, nail glitter, nail um, foil and flat back crystals. So uh, I will leave everything in the description for you. The pink chair on Facebook. Um, she has amazing products for nail estheticians or nail techs. And if you are one, you can easily purchase from her. I believe she does ship to the States as well. Um, but even if you aren't a nail tech, maybe you can just send her a quick message and say, Rachel's Rocks Canada referred me to you for your nail foils. Um, I'd really love it if you could sell to me um, and then see what she says. Um, because her stuff is amazing. She has a lot of great, great stuff. So I start with a black surface. As you can see, I've already painted up my dragonfly. So I'm not going to bore you with that part. I left all the spaces black that I'm going to be putting foil on. Uh, it's just black acrylic paint. And then I put the nail foil glue on and I put it under my LED light for uh, a minute to a minute and a half. I just want to make sure it's totally dry. Uh, it's still going to be sticky. Don't put your fingers on it because you might uh, remove some of the stickiness in the glue um, with your oils on your skin. So uh, it is going to be sticky, a little bit sticky, but not too sticky. It's only sticky enough to grab that foil. Um, with clear foil, if it's not sticking, flip it over. You might be using the wrong side. Um, for different ones, you might have to use an acetone nail polish remover and get off the, uh, it's a protective cover, I believe, over top of some of the other foils that I'm going to show you uh, in a minute. Um, so I always put the glue on first. I'm just doing one little piece at a time. So this uh, beautiful pink glittery holographic um, foil I got from the pink chair and um, on the other side there's a protective layer it looks kind of like rose gold on this one um, but you need to take that protective layer off or you're gonna struggle getting your foil to stick so if you can see through it chances are you don't have to worry about taking the back off uh, like I did with the first one there that I showed you but with this one I'm just taking a little bit of uh, nail polish remover and you can actually see there's like a pink uh, pinkish brownish stuff coming off and that's a protective layer and now this is gonna stick no problem to the second little portion down there that I just put glue on and then put it under my lamp I always put it on for a little bit longer than a minute because then I know my foil is going to stick properly. So there's my pink holographic glitter on that part. Each little portion of the dragonfly I'm going to do, I'm going to show you some of the different colors that I got uh, in my set. I just want to remind everybody, I do not get any of this stuff for free. I do not get sponsored. I buy this stuff myself. I look for it myself and I pay for it. So. Um, I would not recommend something to you guys if it was a waste of my money. And so far, this is like pretty much the best stuff. The foils from the pink chair, 
uh, the crystals from the pink chair if you ever want to put crystals on your rocks. Um, and this is also a foil from the pink chair. It's just gorgeous. Anything holographic, I love. I just love it. Um, but yeah, I, I will leave in the description. I got the Mac Art. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, for, I believe, like $20 or less. Maybe $22 uh, Canadian. And it came with a whole bunch of foils and two bottles of the glue. And if I can create rocks with this stuff easily and quickly, like I'm doing now, um, then it makes my life a lot easier. Some glues that I've tried just don't want to get all of that glue. They are all of that foil stuck to it. And I have to keep going over it. And if you have one with a design, you can't just keep going over the same spot over and over because it's just impossible. So I am doing each part. Sorry, that was a quick view. I'm doing each part with a different uh, foil. And you can see you can do more than one part at a time, but you have to be careful not to get them all stuck. The foils stuck to places that you don't want it, right? So I just do one thing at a time. That way, none of my foils are sticking in places that they don't belong. If you know what I'm saying. Very cool. And there's so many different nail foils to choose from. Uh, but like I said, I would not recommend something if it was a waste of my money. So you can always trust the stuff that I'm recommending to you. Ah. Oh. There's my notifications again, guys. I'm sorry. I will try and get rid of that. Sorry about that, guys. So I am now going to do the eyeballs, and I'm going to just use like a holographic. It almost looks like lace um, with dots, with some dots in it. I love this one. Um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial with... Um, with these all in the lettering. That's what was in the lettering for the Hope Stone that you saw at the beginning of this tutorial. So this one, this rock has been resined already. Um, so you can see it's shiny. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video. It is already shiny, um, but it was very pitted. You can see that it's still quite a bumpy rock, even with a layer of resin over it. Um, so if you've noticed, this one is shiny already. That is simply because I sealed it with resin to make it a smoother surface to paint on. And now I have uh, drawn, painted on the leaf and the dragonfly. And then once the dragonfly is dry, that's when you can start doing your foil uh, work. Um, in my next tutorial, like I said, I'm going to be doing lettering using foil. Uh, in the lettering, which looks really, really cool. Um, you got a little glimpse, like I said, for the Hope Stone at the beginning of this video, but I'm gonna do a, a more in-depth in depth tutorial uh, using foils on the letters, and I'm also gonna do some foil flowers um, to make it fun, get you guys uh, comfortable with maybe trying this out. Um, so I've decided that I'm going to put some oil slick foil, it looks like oil, an oil slick, um, on the wings. Now I do have hologram 2796 as a base coat on my wings already and you will still be able to see the glitter through the wings. It's just kind of magnified by the foil and oh that stuck nicely. <laughs> you can see the shape of my wing but now it's got like this glossy layer over top of the glitter and it looks like uh, someone spilled some gasoline in the water. Like it's like rainbowy and and gorgeous. Um, not that I think gas in water is a nice thing. It just looks pretty because it's like all rainbowy, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so I liked it so much that I'm going to do all four wings that way. And then uh, you will be able to see it afterwards. Unfortunately, you cannot see how gorgeous this is uh, unless you see it in person. So if you do get to see this in person, please leave a comment below and... Uh, explain how things just look so much nicer in person because <laughs> trust me I cannot capture it with my cell phone camera 
um, just how gorgeous this is. I wish I could. It looks amazing. I am going to, there's my signature. I'm just going to let that dry a little bit and then I'm going to resin it again. So this will be the second time that this stone has been resined and it works wonderfully. It covers everything up and gives it a nice big thick coat of uh, glass over top of everything. Kind of brings it all together. It's gorgeous, magnifies its beauty everywhere absolutely gorgeous. I will be putting this in my Etsy shop this week coming up. Happy uh, July 4th to uh, my American friends and happy belated uh, Canada Day to my fellow Canadians. I wish I had more time. I will see you guys again soon. Watch out for my Hope Stone coming up with nail foils. Love you.